Invitational Race or some of the outstanding Pacers jury during their fall meet. Well, Kenny Rice, working with us as usual this week, talks to track announcer Larry Ross as they set the field. Thank you, Sam. Larry, this is a big race today. It is a $20,000 Invitational, the eighth race, some local horses in it, and it is a competitive field. Very competitive. In fact, uh, this is one of the best fields, I think, collectively, of putting uh, the local horses together and uh, with Salute Hanover out of the Stuart Fraser elimination. It's going to be interesting because uh, some of the horses in this this field uh, will play catch me if you can. Cammy Hanover and uh, Pollution, the two mares, as an example, they like to go in the front end, and uh, I don't know in the kind of weather conditions we have today, you may not catch them. Now, in the morning line, the favorite is Monkey Wrench, but because this is an invitational, you have the better pacers on the grounds in this race, and so it's just about anyone's race. Well, Monkey Wrench is a funny horse. Uh, in the Stuart Fraser elimination last week, he uh, really didn't fire too well. Buddy Gilmore drove him, but uh, the best situation for Monkey Wrench is a, a third-generation horseman by the name of Derek Wilson, a young guy, uh, looks after Monkey Wrench. He's raced him here in eastern Canada in the U.S., and he gets along really well. If he uh, has any shot whatsoever, if he's in a good position at the head of the stretch, he'll fire, and he'll charge, and he might win it. And with local horses, with local stables involved, you always have that rivalry also in a race. Yes, you do, but I think the uh, local stables are going to look at a horse like Salute Hanover today, who uh, raced in the eliminations, uh, the Autumn Gold last week. Uh, didn't look good, though. Uh, at the three quarters, just before that, uh, that point, he gained the lead and then packed it really bad and uh, coasted all the way through the field and finished dead last. Something wrong, I don't know. Maybe it was just that day, but I think we'll find out. Larry, with these quality pacers, can we get an idea of their time, what kind of time we can expect in the Breeders' Crown later? Yes, I think so. The, these horses will probably go, uh, I would think, pretty quick on a day like today, 56, 57, uh, maybe 58. Uh, the track uh, will be a second or two off uh, with a little bit of rain last night, but I think the Breeders' Crown will go within a second probably of this field. Larry, thank you. Look forward to your call. Now back to you, Sam.